episode 100, Scandal. All eyes in the playground were drawn to the sound. From one side of the field, Arthur Wiles, wearing a great coat and with an imposing presence, walked up to the stage with a furious expression. Four members of the judging panel followed behind him, looking shame-faced. The long-faced judge looked dazed, as if he had suffered a huge blow. Kevin's heart skipped a beat when he saw his expression. He had a bad feeling. Let us go back ten minutes. Back in the marking room, the more Arthur Wiles looked at Kevin's test paper, the more he felt that there was something wrong with it. He suddenly frowned and said to the four judges, Give me the list of students participating in this year's competition. He looked carefully through the list and finally saw a familiar name in the Otis High School column. Aiden! Arthur Wiles' eyes suddenly became sharp. There's a student named Aiden from Otis High School. Give me his test paper immediately. The committee had never seen Arthur Wiles so anxious before. They could not help but be curious about this Aiden. It was strange, they thought to themselves, that they had not marked him down for any award. Only the horse-faced judge froze, his forehead bathed in cold sweat. The judges did not dare refuse Wiles' demand. They quickly found Aiden's paper and showed it to him. Arthur Wiles looked at the answer paper. His frown deepened and, when he saw that the last question had not been attempted, his face showed his suspicion. He suddenly focused on the space where Aiden's name was written on the paper. His eyes narrowed. Then, he took out the same part of Kevin's paper and compared the two. His anger grew. The names had been tampered with. What the? Arthur Wiles slammed the table with all his strength. The huge force of his hand knocked a teacup on the table to the ground. It shattered, splashing tea on someone's shoes. But no one would have dared wipe it off. They all stood rooted to the ground, trembling. It had been years since they had seen Arthur Wiles so furious. His anger erupting was truly terrifying. What exactly had he read on the paper to make him so irate? As for the horse-faced judge, his face was becoming paler and paler. His legs were trembling, and he felt agonizing cramps. The more Arthur Wiles thought about it, the more incensed he became. He pointed at the four men and cursed. Do you know who Aiden is? He is the best mathematics genius I have ever seen. He has an ability that even I can only admire. I got the idea for the last question from him. Now you are telling me that he doesn't even have a ranking? Do you think I am so old and senile that you can fool me like this? Everyone was shocked to their core. They had no idea that Aiden had such a pedigree. Apart from the horse-faced judge, the committee was confused. If Aiden is such a genius, why didn't he win an award? Arthur Wiles stood up suddenly. He threw the papers from Kevin and Aiden at the four of them and shouted, Which of you did it? His terrifying presence overwhelmed them. The horse-faced judge was so terrified that he fell to the ground, whining. It wasn't me. I didn't change their names. The room was suddenly quiet. The other three judges looked at him in shock. Arthur Wiles' face was dark with fury. He stood over the horse-faced judge and pulled him up from the ground. Did I say their names were changed? 